Okay, so here's a really quick guide to the basics of using Padlet, assuming you've already signed up for an account. So first job, click on Make a Padlet. You then uh, choose your different kind of canvas. They've all got different configurations. You can even scroll down and pick ready-made templates if you like. I'm going to just pick the first one. My distinguished wall, there you go. Um, so you can edit the name to uh, whatever you like. Um, on Mur, not very original. And then uh, obviously the description as well, even less original. Uh, you can also alter all the wallpaper, um, uh, have icons. And this is probably more um, important. You might want, well want to display author names above each post so you can see who's posted what. Um, decide where things go on the page, filter any profanity. There won't be any profanity. This is the Grange people. Uh, come on. Uh, and then collaboration. Uh, do you want people to comment on posts? You might well do if it's going to be peer assessment type things. You can give nice reactions, grade, star, upvote or like. And add tags uh, for people to search by. The, and there's the address of this page. OK, so that's modifying. Uh, all of these things can be changed later via the menu at the top as well. So if you don't do it now, it doesn't matter. You can come back later and, and change it all around. Okay, uh, this is privacy. I always think secrecy, uh, secret is the best one here um, because it allows you to um, only have people who've got the link access the page. You can't. It's not searchable via Google or anything like that as well. So you just get the link to the students in whatever way, and then you're away. Um, so it does explain what all the different privacy options there, but we're not going to go into that now. And you can decide what people with access can do. Can they write or do, or moderate or read the posts and so on? OK, uh, you can add people by email if you like. There's lots of different ways you can do things. So it's just reading through that carefully, making sure you're happy uh, with your settings. And then next. Basically, that's that. You can start posting um, on here. To, to post on a, uh, a Padlet, really easy. Uh, you click, uh, you can double click anywhere or drag things in, as it says, um, or paste uh, from the clipboard or click uh, the plus sign in the bottom right, which you can't quite see on this video. Uh, so there you go. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm lacking imagination tonight because it's quarter past nine. Uh, a post. I write something, okay, and stuff. And then you can add a link. Uh, you can upload something. Uh, you can Google things and put pictures on. There's a random picture of a post, like it, uh, and all that kind of thing. So there's a lot you can do with it, and it's very flexible. Uh, so a lot of creativity can be used. Right, so sharing your wall with the students. This is the important bit. Really easy. Up the top, share. This again is, is your people and privacy. So as you can see, it gives you another go at um, your settings and, and you can always adjust those. And you're going to click on share, export, embed. Uh, if you know what you're doing with QR codes, you can use the QR code. Uh, but today we're going to probably focus more on these two. So copy the link or embed in your blog. If you copy the link, Really, really easy. Uh, it puts the link on your clipboard. You can then just go on Firefly. I'm just going to find a random page on Firefly here quickly um, from when I was doing other things on, on my sheet. Uh, and very simply, you can just, if you're editing the page, paste it in. Um, or even, probably better to write some text. You highlight the text. You click the link at the top. You paste it in like that. You want, might want to open it in a new window. Press done and you have a link there. So when you press done on your page, it will link uh, nicely to your Padlet. OK, so that's one way uh, to do it. Let's see if I can find it again. The other way, maybe a bit better, more striking visually, is to embed it. Uh, that looks very complicated, but you don't need to worry about that. You just click copy. And then uh, this time when you're in um, uh, Firefly, uh, you're going to click on, uh, let's just scroll down a bit so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Uh, hang on. Yeah, you click edit page in the bottom right on Firefly. Anyway, you can't quite see because my window's not in the right place here. But there you go, click edit, uh, then embed. And you just paste that code in here, following the instructions. 
press done. It'll ask you if you want to uh, see the suggested changes. You know, just press OK. It's doing things. Um, press done. And there it is. It will, you can actually, I think, um, even, let me, let me just press done and publish it. Uh, you can even, if you double click from here, post. Yeah, you can just from in Firefly or if you press that uh, little button in the top right, it will open it in a new window. There you go. So that's how the students can also access it as well. Once it's on there, um, they can post away. Okay.